The most common symptom of prostate cancer is no symptom at all. In fact, most of the time when we diagnose prostate cancer, it's because a blood test, a PSA blood test is abnormal. However, as the cancer does become more advanced, patients may have urinary blockage or bleeding in their urine. They may also, if they present at a very advanced stage, may have cancer in their bones and present with pain or other symptoms like that. These men present often with no symptoms at all. They're really surprised that they actually have this diagnosis. And unfortunately, by itself, a PSA doesn't tell you if you have prostate cancer or not. It's usually the first trigger. In that situation, the patient may be referred to a urologist to do a biopsy of his prostate. If a doctor feels a nodule on examination, um, that would prompt the need for a biopsy as well. The physical examination of a prostate really encompasses the digital rectal exam, which is uh, the doctor puts a gloved finger into the rectum because the prostate's sitting right next to the rectum and you can actually feel the back two-thirds of the prostate. And if there's a nodule there, then by itself, automatically, that means that patient should be considered for a biopsy, whatever the PSA is, because a nodule, just like in the breast, if it's otherwise unexplained, needs to be evaluated with a biopsy. And that's the only way we can be definitively sure that he actually does have prostate cancer. And a prostate biopsy is usually done using an ultrasound in the doctor's office where needles are put in directly into the prostate. And usually anywhere from 8 to 12 needles are put into the prostate, removed and sent to the pathologist to look for evidence of cancer. And if you do have prostate cancer, almost always the treatments are very effective if the cancer is confined to the prostate. And many advances have been made in both surgical and radiation treatments over the past few years to make the quality of life better than it was certainly 10 or 20 years ago.